Holiday, 1991. There's an enthused person. He can't wait for a holiday to start. There's another enthused person. He can't wait for a holiday to start. We don't know what he is. later on after the food here's Ann and Lisa yeah that fit right in the middle of the song now I I'm of my life though I never felt I swear, it's the truth, and I own it all to you. Golfer. 
Saving this afternoon? Okay. <laughs>
This your chance. Nobody's listening. You sure? You do what? Hey, I'll tell you, we'll get you up later, okay? This is like John Cooper. Uh, Sharon, what did she win? She won Lock Lloyd, didn't she? I heard that. She won a magazine rack. She'll have to talk to Harry personally about Lock Lloyd. I don't, we we might have got that Lock Lloyd offer on tape back there. Can... <laughs> okay, for our third prize winner, are we ready? 055 Zero five five three zero three five. Do we have someone right here with that ticket? Let me give it one more time. Three. I'm sorry. Zero five five three zero three five. The prize is a picture, and I don't see anyone here jumping up to the front. So we will post that on the bulletin board next week. Actually, that was probably the one that really won Lock Lloyd, right? That's right. <laughs> 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 
Okay, the next winner. 055-3226. Come on down. Anybody? No? Okay, and it's a mirror. We'll post that number. Oh, here we go. We have a winner. Come tell us your name. Jeffrey Green. All right, Jeffrey. How about a big hand for Jeffrey? You can see Sharon Wiles right over there. <laughs> and we're going to do one more drawing now, Sharon. One more drawing before the twist contest. <laughs> And the number is 055-2951. 055-2951. Do we have a winner? Yeah, we got it. Yes, we have a winner. I tell you, this has got to be some kind of a record. It does. I mean, everybody's here that has the tickets. All right, tell us your name. Gary Zerb. Gary Zerb. Gary Zerb. Come on down. All right. Hey, give him a big round of applause, too. Okay, tell us the most about this twist contest. Okay, before I do that, I have the most exciting announcement of the entire afternoon. Sharon has asked me to point out that the restrooms are inside the building, inside the main entrance. <laughs> now that's exciting. Okay, we're going to have a twist contest next. Incidentally, I want to thank the four people that have danced so far today. We really appreciate it. We're going to get everybody to work off those chocolate chip cookies right now. What chocolate chip cookies? Look at all these people chicken. No, 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 no. In this twist contest, you need to tear up. We're going to play some twisting music. And we have some judges. Sharon Wells, I assume we have some judges that are going to go around and we're going to kind of do an elimination thing. They'll tap you on the shoulder and you're eliminated. I had to pay extra to be eliminated first. <laughs> they went a date with a drummer, he said. You look like you're looking. After we've narrowed it down to three people, then we need the whole audience to participate because when we can narrow it down to three people, we're going to have them dance right in front here, and the audience is going to judge. It's going to be an applause meter. And we are the applause meter. Okay, so who do we have that's going to twist? Same, same four people. Come on. Come on, you guys. We can get some twisters up here. Yes. Barb Smith, come on and twist. Joe Strump, come on and twist. <laughs> Pam Belts, come on and twist. Julie Shipman, come on and twist. Peggy Bumgarner. If you don't twist, I'll embarrass you by saying your name. We're in the Kansas City. If you can't twist, we're in the Kansas City. We have some more twisters out there? Come on, we can get more people than this. Come on, you guys. We gotta work off some of that, some of that great food. Huh? Out of a thousand people, we should have 500 twisters here. See, how, how many couples do we have so far? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven couples. We gotta get at least 10 couples up here. Who do we see up there? Okay, here we go. Here comes another couple. Here we go. Let's okay, go. We gotta get the, the lady down here in the red that's been dancing. We gotta get her a car in the red vest. Are you okay? I think she's got something. Anybody else over here? How about you? I think yeah. I think you'd be a good twister. Come on. Go on, get out there. Get out there. We gotta get somebody else to twist with. You, you don't want to twist with that. Mike yeah. Wynn, get up here and twist. You guys need to get up here and twist. Find a partner. You know, we're gonna find somebody for you. How about one of these guys right here? They'll come up and twist with you. I don't see anyone from their number department here. Yeah, okay, here, yeah, we got somebody right here. Talk Go back here and grab this guy. Okay, how many, everybody, like you couple, scoot together so we can see how many we got here. Yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-
12, 13. Twist. Come on, what's his name? Tom. I'm in front of all these people. Tom. 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 John. Come on, John. Crystal? Where's Crystal? Crystal, why don't you get out there and twist with this lady? Come on, Crystal. Everybody give Crystal a big round of applause. Give her some encouragement to get out there. Come on, Crystal. Come on, scoot out there. Here we go. There's her. No, come on. Get out there. Come on, Crystal. They want you. They do. They want you, Crystal. Get that bread out there. Okay, so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we, do we have judges out there? Yes, we do. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll play a song and then we'll narrow it down to three, and then we'll do a second song and judge those three. Right, and the second time around the audience has to judge. Okay. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go.
has a Missouri Tiger shirt on, but she has the letters KU on. <laughs> so who is it? Uh, is it K.U. or Tiger? It's got one of those split personalities, I think. We gotta get everybody down. Come on, you guys on this side. Let's go. We don't go up till y'all go down. Well. Hey! Everybody, come on, you guys in the middle. Let's go. Right. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Everybody, the lady in the red shirt. I think, I think Carrie wins on this one. She don't get that. She don't. See, but Harry's all the way down over there. <laughs> little bit high in there. Little bit high in there. Little bit high in there.
hear it. Come on, one more time. Oh my 
Michael! Come on, Doobie! Ha, ha, ha. 
This is the House of Lloyd Corporate Challenge Update for Monday, July 22nd, 1991. House of Lloyd picked up at least eight points over the weekend, with scores from one event still unavailable. Official standings will be posted on the boards later this afternoon. Friday night, racquetball was again on tap. Both Tim Smith and Sarah Rivard were defeated in matches on Friday evening. Players from Puritan Bennett defeated both Smith and Rivard. Schmidt ended the double elimination tournament with a record of one and two. Rivard won her first match of the evening, another by forfeit, before being defeated later. Her record for the tournament was 3-2. On Saturday, the morning started with nine ball at the King Louis Ranch Mart. Jim Barty chalked up for House of Lloyd against the Marley Company. Barty won the first game of the match. Marley came back, however, and won the next three to secure the win. Also on Saturday was the women's dart competition held at the Roxy. Peggy Bumgarner won her first three matches, defeating representatives from Forrest T. Jones & Company, Arthur Anderson Accounting, and J.C. Penney. Her wins moved her into the top 16 in the competition. Bumgarner was defeated when her opponent doubled out for a win. Coed and men's bowling got underway at noon on Saturday, and both teams scored well enough to place in the top six. In the co-ed category, held at King Louis College Lanes, Kay Burris, Bob Carter, Linda Penniston, and Bev Keys teamed up to shoot a 21-11 scratch. Good enough for a fourth place finish and five team points. Across town at King Louis Independence, the men's team made up of Tim Hall, Darrell Lancaster, Jerry Bragaw, and Grant McKibben shot a 20-85, placing them in the number five spot and earning three team points. On Sunday, events started early with the bye and triathlon held at the Shawnee Mission Park. Joe Strump represented House of Lloyd in the biathlon, while Dan Spellman competed in the triathlon. Both athletes finished these grueling events, however, neither placed in the top six. King Louis Independence was the venue for the women's bowling. The House of Lloyd team consisted of Patty Hollow, LaDonna Rodriguez, Terry Kahn, and Jean Paolo. They got off to a hot start with Patty Hollow shooting a 205 in her first game, but overall they were not able to place in the top six in their division. Other events happening on Sunday were men and women's golf. Mike Wynn and Mike Peck paired up in the men's competition held at the Heritage Park Golf Course. Sarah Rivard and Terry Brown were the competitors in the women's event held at the Longview Lake Golf Course. The women shot an 82 for the course, the men a 67, which had them tied in third place late last night. The final event this weekend was men's darts. Don Mott won his first match over Howards, Needles, Panham, and Bergendorf. Mott also won its second round and then was defeated in round number three. There is no activity planned for tonight, but a full schedule resumes on Tuesday, starting with the men's singles table tennis at 6 p.m. Gary Brooker is scheduled to compete in this event. Also on Tuesday is the women's double table tennis with Lori Berghoff and Sarah Rivard. 
9 p.m. is the starting time for their match. Both men's and women's competition will be held at the Overland Park Racquet Club. A round-robin men's volleyball tournament will take place in the gym at Shawnee Mission South High School on Tuesday. The first match starts at 7.20. The women take to the court on Wednesday, again at Shawnee Mission South. Their first match will take place at 6.20. Also on Wednesday will be the women's singles table tennis. Nancy Staley will compete at 6.30 and again at 7. Thursday night starts the track and field events. Joe Strump will be competing in the men's mile run in the 40 to 49 age bracket at 740. At 9 o'clock, the Medley co-ed relay team will take to the track. Scheduled to run are Lori Brooks, Julie Vega, Mike Wynn, and Gary White. The first event on Thursday night will be the 800 meter relay. It's set for 6 p.m. All the track events will be held at Shawnee Mission South High School. Rounding out the events for Thursday will be the men's doubles table tennis. 9.30 is the time. Overland Park Rocket Ball Club is the place. Bill Amano and Mike Phillips are the players. Watch for updates to be posted in each building and check the Kansas City Corporate Challenge Guide for directions to the sites. Be sure and get out and support House of Lloyd in the Kansas City Corporate Challenge. This is the House of Lloyd Corporate Challenge Update for Monday, July 22nd, 1991. House of Lloyd picked up at least eight points over the weekend, with scores from one event still unavailable. Official standings will be posted on the boards later this afternoon. Friday night, racquetball was again on tap. Both Tim Smith and Sarah Rivard were defeated in matches on Friday evening. Players from Puritan Bennett defeated both Smith and Rivard. Schmidt ended the double elimination tournament with a record of one and two. Rivard won her first match of the evening, another by forfeit, before being defeated later. Her record for the tournament was 3-2. On Saturday, the morning started with nine ball at the King Louis Ranch Mart. Jim Barty chalked up for House of Lloyd against the Marley Company. Barty won the first game of the match. Marley came back, however, and won the next three to secure the win. Also on Saturday was the women's dart competition held at the Roxy. Peggy Bumgarner won her first three matches, defeating representatives from Forrest T. Jones & Company, Arthur Anderson Accounting, and J.C. Penney. Her wins moved her into the top 16 in the competition. Bumgarner was defeated when her opponent doubled out for a win. Coed and men's bowling got underway at noon on Saturday, and both teams scored well enough to place in the top six. In the co-ed category, held at King Louis College Lanes, Kay Burris, Bob Carter, Linda Penniston, and Bev Keyes teamed up to shoot a 21-11 scratch. Good enough for a fourth place finish and five team points. Across town at King Louis Independence, the men's team made up of Tim Hall, Daryl Lancaster, Jerry Bragaw, and Grant McKibben shot a 20-85, placing them in the number five spot and earning three team points. On Sunday, events started early with the bye and triathlon held at the Shawnee Mission Park. Joe Strump represented House of Lloyd in the biathlon, while Dan Spellman competed in the triathlon. Both athletes finished these grueling events, however, neither placed in the top six. King Louis Independence was the venue for the women's bowling. The House of Lloyd team consisted of Patty Hollow, LaDonna Rodriguez, Terry Kahn, and Jean Palo. They got off to a hot start with Patty Hollow shooting a 205 in her first game, but overall they were not able to place in the top six in their division. Other events happening on Sunday were men and women's golf. Mike Wynn and Mike Peck paired up in the men's competition held at the Heritage Park Golf Course. Sarah Rivard and Terry Brown were the competitors in the women's event held at the Longview Lake Golf Course. The women shot an 82 for the course, the men a 67, which had them tied in third place late last night. The final event this weekend was men's darts. Don Mott won his first match over Howards, Needles, Tannum, and Bergendorf. Mott also won his second round and then was defeated in round number three. There is no activity planned for tonight, but a full schedule resumes on Tuesday, starting with the men's singles table tennis at 6 p.m. Gary Brooker is scheduled to compete in this event. Also on Tuesday is the women's double table tennis with Lori Berghoff and Sarah Rivard. 9 p.m. is the starting time for their match. Both men's and women's competition will be held at the Overland Park Racquet Club. A round-robin men's volleyball tournament will take place in the gym at Shawnee Mission South High School on Tuesday. The first match starts at 7.20. The women take to the court on Wednesday, again at Shawnee Mission South. Their first match will take place at 
Also on Wednesday will be the women's singles table tennis. Nancy Staley will compete at 6.30 and again at 7. Thursday night starts the track and field events. Joe Strump will be competing in the men's mile run in the 40 to 49 age bracket at 7.40. At 9 o'clock, the Medley co-ed relay team will take to the track. Scheduled to run are Lori Brooks, Julie Vega, Mike Wynn, and Gary White. The first event on Thursday night will be the 800 meter relay. It's set for 6 p.m. All the track events will be held at Shawnee Mission South High School. Rounding out the events for Thursday will be the men's doubles table tennis. 9.30 is the time. The first full week of the Kansas City Corporate Challenge is complete, and House of Lloyd is in third place in the B Division, picking up another 63 points this week to bring the team total to 123 and a half points. In first place in the B Division is Yellow Freight with 151 and a half points. In second is Miles Incorporated with 131 and a half. In fourth it's Pars Whirlspan with 105.5, and in fifth is 20th Century with 103 and a half. Rounding up the top ten. In sixth place, the Lawyers Association. Seventh, Burns and McDonald's. In the number eight slot, it's Johnson County Community College. Blue Cross and Blue Shield checks in at number nine. And in tenth is St. Joseph Health Center. Let's take a look at the activities since last Tuesday night. Most of last week was taken up with tennis. Sarah Rivard and Sherry James took the court in the women's doubles. They completed the tournament with a record of two and two, defeating Blue Cross and Blue Shield and St. Joseph's. Their record earned them a fourth place finish, picking up 10 team points for House of Lloyd. Sarah also represented the company in the singles competition. She was eliminated in a first round loss to Burns and McDonald. In men's tennis, Mike Phillips and Harry Lloyd competed in the doubles event. The pair recorded victories over Farmland and Bethany before being defeated by the Lawyers Association. A win over Johnson County Community College gave them the bronze medal for their 2-2 two two record. The third place finish also picked up 12 team points. In men's singles, it was Mike Phillips who took the court for House of Lloyd. He won his first two matches down in Burns and McDonald and the Lawyers Association. Due to a scheduling conflict with his doubles, Phillips had to forfeit his third match with St. Joseph, but he came back to beat Parr's Whirlspan in two straight sets to finish in third place and earn the bronze medal. His third place finish in the singles event recorded another six points for House of Lloyd. The Georgetown Racket and Fitness Club was the venue for the men and women's racquetball competition. Brad Sukit competed in the men's event. He was eliminated from the tournament with losses to Johnson County and Farmland. On the women's side, it was Amy Mosier. Amy was also eliminated with losses to Johnson County and BMA. Saturday morning was time for bowling with the men's team rolling at King Louis College Lanes. The team of Bob Carter, Jerry Smith, Darrell Lancaster, and Vernon Winfrey shot a 22-16 series for a fifth place finish and 18 points. The co-ed team bowled at the King Louie Lanes in Independence. The team consisted of Jerry Buzzard, Katrina Henley, Jeannie Paolo, and Gray Graff. They shot a 1759 series. Sunday morning, the women's team took to the lanes. Leah Clark, Terry Kahn, Linda Elliott, and LaDonna Rodriguez represented House of Lloyd in this event. Together, they shot 1988, finishing in fifth place in the B division. Their scores picked up another eight points in the total team standings. On Friday night, King Louis Ranch Mart Lanes hosted the pool competition. Both Katrina Henley and Steve York were matched up against representatives from HNTB. Both Steve and Katrina dropped their first round matches and were eliminated from the tournament. The activity started before sunrise on Sunday as the competitors in the biathlon and triathlon gathered at Shawnee Mission Park. House Lloyd had six athletes competing in events on this morning. Dave Dancy and Dan Spillman were entered in the individual triathlon, an event that combined swimming, biking, and running. In the team triathlon, Shelly Cook got the company off to an early lead in swimming. Next, it was Andy Anderson who rode the biking portion of the event. And finally, Gary White finished it up with the running. The three turned in a total time of one hour, 46 minutes, and 41 seconds. A fifth place finish and another six points. Joe Strupp turned in a time of one hour, 32 minutes, and 46 seconds in the biathlon competition for men 50 and over. Joe's time qualified him in the fourth place spot and gave House Lloyd five additional team points. In the darts competition, Peggy Huffman competed in the women's division, and Terry Bennett threw for the men. And last night, the first round of women's volleyball was scheduled at Blue Valley North High School. A complete wrap-up of this and all the other events scheduled for this week will be shown next Tuesday during the lunch hours. Now here's a listing of the rest of the activities on tap in the Kansas City Corporate Challenge.
The first full week of the Kansas City Corporate Challenge is complete, and House Lloyd is in third place in the B Division, picking up another 63 points this week to bring the team total to 123 and a half points. In first place in the B Division is Yellow Freight with 151 and a half points. In second is Miles Incorporated with 131 and a half. In fourth, it's Pars Worldspan with 105.5. And in fifth is 20th Century with 103 and a half. Rounding up the top 10, in sixth place, the Lawyers Association. Seventh, Burns and McDonald's. In the number eight slot, it's Johnson County Community College. Blue Cross and Blue Shield checks in at number nine. And in 10th is St. Joseph Health Center. Let's take a look at the activities since last Tuesday night. Most of last week was taken up with tennis. Sarah Rivard and Sherry James took the court in the women's doubles. They completed the tournament with a record of 2-2, two two, defeating Blue Cross and Blue Shield in St. Joseph's. Their record earned them a fourth-place finish, picking up 10 team points for House of Lloyd. Sarah also represented the company in the singles competition. She was eliminated in a first-round loss to Burns and McDonald. In men's tennis, Mike Phillips and Harry Lloyd competed in the doubles event. The pair recorded victories over Farmland and Bethany before being defeated by the Lawyers Association. A win over Johnson County Community College gave them the bronze medal for their 2-2 two two record. The third place finish also picked up 12 team points. In men's singles, it was Mike Phillips who took the court for House of Lloyd. He won his first two matches down in Burns and McDonald and the Lawyers Association. Due to a scheduling conflict with his doubles, Phillips had to forfeit his third match with St. Joseph. But he came back to beat Parr's Worldspan in two straight sets to finish in third place and earn the bronze medal. His third place finish in the singles event recorded another six points for House of Lloyd. The Georgetown Racket and Fitness Club was the venue for the men and women's racquetball competition. Brad Sukit competed in the men's event. He was eliminated from the tournament with losses to Johnson County and Farmland. On the women's side, it was Amy Mosier. Amy was also eliminated with losses to Johnson County and BMA. Saturday morning was time for bowling with the men's team rolling at King Louis College Lanes. The team of Bob Carter, Jerry Smith, Darrell Lancaster, and Vernon Winfrey shot a 22-16 series for a fifth place finish and 18 points. The co team bowled at the King Louie Lanes in Independence. The team consisted of Jerry Buzzard, Katrina Henley, Janie Paolo, and Greg Rapp. They shot a 17-59 series. Sunday morning, the women's team took to the lanes. Leah Clark, Terry Kahn, Linda Elliott, and LaDonna Rodriguez represented House of Lloyd in this event. Together, they shot 1988, finishing in fifth place in the B division. Their scores picked up another eight points in the total team standings. On Friday night, King Louis Ranch Mart Lanes hosted the pool competition. Both Katrina Henley and Steve York were matched up against representatives from HNTV. Both Steve and Katrina dropped their first round matches and were eliminated from the tournament. The activity started before sunrise on Sunday as the competitors in the biathlon and triathlon gathered at Shawnee Mission Park. House Lloyd had six athletes competing in events on this morning. Dave Dancy and Dan Spillman were entered in the individual triathlon, an event that combined swimming, biking, and running. In the team triathlon, Shelly Cook got the company off to an early lead in swimming. Next, it was Andy Anderson who rode the biking portion of the event. And finally, Gary White finished it up with the running. The three turned in a total time of one hour, 46 minutes, and 41 seconds. A fifth place finish and another six points. Joe Strupp turned in a time of one hour, 32 minutes, and 46 seconds in the biathlon competition for men 50 and over. Joe's time qualified him in the fourth place spot and gave House Lloyd five additional team points. In the darts competition, Peggy Huffman competed in the women's division, and Terry Bennett threw for the men. And last night, the first round of women's volleyball was scheduled at Blue Valley North High School. A complete wrap-up of this and all the other events scheduled for this week will be shown next Tuesday during the lunch hours. Now here's a listing of the rest of the activities on tap in the Kansas City Corporate Challenge.
The second reason for our getting together is our individual responsibilities take us in many different directions over the course of the year, and this afternoon's a great opportunity to get much better acquainted, share some fellowship, enjoy each other's company, and celebrate our company and our own achievements. Before we actually begin, it's my pleasure to introduce our chairman and founder, Harry Lloyd. Uh, it's great to see a lot of familiar faces out there, and of course I have to admit a lot of unfamiliar faces too. You know, uh, I was kind of reminiscing when I was um, here, of course you can see me, right? <laughs> I had, a, had a, a blue outfit I was going to wear today, and uh, since I put about 15 or 20 pounds on since I owned that last summer, I went to put it on. <laughs> so I had to go out and shopping today. At any rate, I was reminiscing, uh, looking out over the crowd of people and so on and so forth, and say, gee, gee, you know, we've come a long way. And you know, on June the 1st, uh, this fellow down here was uh, officially with me 40 years. Neil, raise your hand. It was just, he was a high school kid, 18 years old. Can you imagine all that gray hair? Can you imagine him 18? <laughs> At any rate, there was just the two of us then in the chicken house selling fireworks. And uh, so we've, uh, we've come a long way, but you don't do it yourselves. You do it with a lot of hardworking people that care and have a gut level, level of uh, caring and want to do the best job you can where you are. And we have an unusually for those people. I want to say thank you very much because we wouldn't do anything without your commitment. Uh, no more talking. We're going to have a good time this afternoon. Incidentally, you probably recognize that I don't work here much anymore. Basically, my new profession is I'm, I'm in the golf business. <clears throat> uh, I'm a pro. I'm a pro, yes. And I'm, but I'm not a pro, no. I'm a teaching pro. Uh, you know, I give lessons. Now, it doesn't mean I have to be able to do it, you know, but I give lessons. But I only have one student uh, because uh, there's only one person that plays worse golf than I do, and that's Jim Wilcox. <laughs> well, we did play yesterday afternoon, and I was trying to tell him, you know, this and this and this, but just like everybody else, doesn't pay much attention to me. <laughs> hey, let the festivities begin! Work hard every day, not for fame or fortune do they strive, but the fruits of their labor are worth more than their pay, and it's time a few of them were recognized. Hello Detroit, auto worker, let me thank you for your time, you work a 40 hour week for a living. Send it on down the line. Oh, Hello, first place. Still mill worker, let me thank you for your time. What's up? How far will they go? <laughs> A long way. Send it on down the line. This is for the one who's waiting for their work. Driving on the nail. For the one who's waiting for their
as a lover and a friend. This voice keeps whispering in my heart. Tell me I may never see you again. I can't be alone, even
Mel Allen to narrate this now. We're in business. <laughs> Mel Allen. Mel Allen. He does ba we, this week in baseball. This week in baseball. I don't know if he's playing. You don't stand there. Yeah, that's what I said. They would look up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. There you go, Belina. No, you don't get that. We captured the K on film. Oh, it's only I live with this. Jim will give you his. Oh, 
That's Paul. Me and him and Drake Love. Right there with the cap, yeah. Can you help us? Yeah. Is there another team going out? Oh, corporate challenge. It's a ball game. Right it's a real game now. It's a real game.
got that a good look? It's not one field. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to narrow it down to three. And let it be known, boy, what a tough decision this is. Okay, the girl in the plaid shorts is our judge. Are you are you are you Okay. Oh, you got the dirty one. Okay, okay. Okay, we gotta narrow it down here. You, you want another round here? We'll give you one more round. Everybody, the, the people who are still in the contest, you guys gotta scoot in here a little bit. Everybody come up here a little bit closer. You guys just warmed up, right? Okay. <laughs> here we go. We should see. champions are going to be couple number one, right over here. Okay, and let's get you guys right here, right next to them. You're going to be couple number two. Over here, couple number three. And couple number four. And then couple number five down there at the end. Okay, now what we're going to do on this is we're going to do this by audience participation. So, I want you to keep an eye on your favorite couple, and after this is over, we're gonna we're gonna do it by applause. So once again, here's couple number one. Raise your hands, couple number one. Our defending champions, couple number two. Raise your hands. Couple number three. Couple number four. And couple number five. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sounds like we could have a, 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 a very legitimate challenger here. Are you ready? Here we go. be judged on your applause. Couple number one. Let's hear it for couple number one. And let's hear it for couple number two. Raise your hands. How about couple number three? She might get this because of that outfit. I like that outfit. That's all right. Couple number four.
couple number five. Okay, I, you know what? You know what? I think that we have come to the, we, we've got a decision, but I think we've got to do the dreaded twist off. We've got, it, we've got it between couple number three and couple number five. So let's get you two, or you four, out in the middle of the dance floor here. Okay, now this is, do we have any kind of uh, prizes or anything for these guys? Is anybody uh, H2O, she says. Yeah. Anything, any kind of prizes or anything we can give these guys? The winners? Yeah, how about, uh, how about, how about, let's say, let's say the winners, the winners get to help move the band out of here. Let's say the winners get a lifetime membership to Lock and Lloyd Country Club. No, 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 no. No, you didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. Water, okay. The winners get a drink. <laughs> not, not okay, are you guys ready? We're gonna make. Now we're gonna change this to couple number one right here, and, and you all gonna be a couple number two. And we're gonna give you one whole song to prove yourself. And let's see who can be the most original dancer. Try everything, you guys. Can we get you guys to clap your hands a little bit? Give them a little bit of inspiration. Come on. Get them up over your head so we can see you. Yeah, man.